So the War Tycoon developers have just gave us an early review slash showcase for the brand new uh, Harrier Jump jet that will be coming to the War Tycoon's next update. And they have provided us kind of like a video showcasing exactly how it looks like. And for today's video, guys, I will be showing you guys this whole entire video. But also, I have found a few key pieces of the video which you guys might have missed that do give us a little bit more information regarding on how this plane is actually going to work. And I'll overall be going through bits and pieces which you guys just definitely have not seen. And also, I will try to speak about a rough release date when this plane should be releasing at least my guess. However, if there will be any more uh, information given by the developers, I will also make a dedicated video on the release date if the developers were to confirm it. Anyway, let's actually get right into it and make sure to subscribe to not miss out any more quick update videos just like this one. And sorry for not posting for a little bit. So simply to recap what we have recently talked about in the previous video is just simply what the leaks are going to be and once again here is a quick picture on how this plane is going to look like from like kind of a 3D model and etc and now let me show you guys the video and let's annotate it. So right after I seen this video, there is a lot of things to point out and starting up with the fact that this plane will only have one seat and as you guys can see this on the screen right now, which is somewhat realistic and I do wonder how uh, this is actually going to be working. Will people still be able to kind of surf on top of the plane because the, uh, these days you guys can literally surf on top of any plane. So I'm going to be interested in the fact that this plane will only be able to transport one player at a time with veto mode. We'll see how this is going to work. The next detail which I have for you guys is as you guys can see this plane is actually pretty big and fat and you might say that this has no logic or whatsoever. However this is a game and let's take into consideration this could also mean that this plane might actually be able to once again be a direct counter to tanks by it being able to just like the F-45 be able to kind of tank the tank shells in the game and that would actually make sense because both of the veto planes being able to tank the tank shells that would definitely be kind of uh, balanced in a sense because once again, if the Harrier Jump Jet is using its veto mode, it's very open and easy target to just kill in one shot. Another detail which I would also like to point out is the fact it's of course going to be having 4 missiles, which is something we already know, but I just wanted to throw this out there for the people who haven't noticed. So the next question that you guys are probably asking yourself is where is the veto uh, system actually going to be located? The easiest guess which people could take is they're going to be kind of connected with the engine itself which would literally just flip down. However, as you guys can see on this screenshot right here, the engine is kind of fully connected to the plane so I don't see how it will be agile enough to kind of move down in order for it to be able to drag the plane up. However, I have noticed a little bit of small details is that on this screenshot right here on the screen there is a few kind of um, shapes pointing down with those red shapes of course that you guys can see here and then in the next screenshot here there are also two red shapes and I kind of wonder what this means I definitely think this wouldn't be there for absolutely no reason so that is for you guys to actually figure out on how the veto will actually work however the best bet I could give you guys is probably that the veto system I have definitely got wrong in this kind of uh, point I was making and I think it's gonna be located somewhere else again it is up to you guys to decide on what you want to think but anyway the one last detail which I find particularly interesting actually is the fact this plane will actually have four kind of wheels to take off with and I find this very cool because I think this might be a plane that has the biggest amount of wheels to take off with because I believe the plane that has the most right now would be three and this one will actually have six again this is just a cool fact that I would like to throw out there Anyway guys, that's all the info I have found out in today's video. If you have found out a little bit extra and if you paid more attention than me to actually find out something new, let me know in the comment section down below and what else you think this plane will actually have and what I have missed. Anyway guys, make sure to subscribe for more quick update videos just like this one. And yeah, I'll see you guys next video. I'll s and of course, one more question that you might be asking yourself, when is this new update going to be releasing? And I believe it's going to be releasing tomorrow, which is exactly Saturday. However, the developers give out more information I will definitely make a new video on that.